Well, today's activity, I'm going to try to restore this old, probably 1950s era cold handle skillet. These are what they call uh, Bromwell pans. This is a four and a half inch or four inch Bromwell pan. This is a six inch Bromwell pan. This is big enough to cook just two eggs by themselves. And these are, for the most part, seasoned. Same design. This is an original cold handle. It's got a gap here, if you can see that, if I can't because the lighting. It allows you to pick up the handle from down here while it's on the, on the fire. So these are carbon steel skillets. They look like this after they've been used for years and years and years, over 50 years. I'm going to see what I can do with it today. Well, I've been working on this skillet for about 30 minutes. Um, you can see how it looks now compared to what it was like before. Um, the logo came out real nice. Get rid of all the rust. Uh, I took off what I could on the inside. I could keep going, but uh, I kind of like the patina. It's uh, silky smooth right now because I used a flap wheel and a little bit of sandpaper, wet dry sandpaper, and I worked it all the way up to 1200 grit. I could get all the black off if I wanted, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to leave it like this. Looks pretty good. Now I just got to season it again because I took off a lot of the old seasoning, which I kind of didn't want to do, but you got to do what you got to do, you know? All right, well, this is a working setup here. Uh, this is going to be a working skillet. It's not going to be something I'm going to use for show and tell, but this is a 1943 Coleman 413 stove with the, uh, with the copper tank to go along with this 19 early early 1950s cold handle skillet. And what I got to do is I got to... I got to season the skillet and one of the best ways to season a skillet is either frying bacon or frying potatoes. So I've got some uh, some oil in there now and I'm going to throw on some potatoes. We're going to get some fried potatoes going here. I'll let this cook for a while and cook in. Hopefully get the first layer of seasoning in this thing. Well, it looks like things are going pretty good. Let's see if I can do this one-handed without knocking the skillet off the stove. I'm gonna cook these a while. Looks like I got some pretty brown ones here. I need to stir it a little better, it looks like. You know, it's almost lunchtime. Maybe I'll just have uh, some fried potatoes for lunch. I don't know, they smell pretty good. I just have to get some seasoning for them. I'll let this go a little while longer. Remember, I'm not doing this for eating, I'm doing this for seasoning. Well, I think they're about done. If I go any, do any more, I'm going to start burning them. You know, true to form, the stove has uh, been on for, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe while I cook these. And uh, I can hold this skillet all the way down here and it's cold to the touch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, this whole stove off. And uh, I'm going to scoop these out, put them in a tray and a uh, little paper plate, and then let them uh, let some of the grease get absorbed into the paper towel, and I'll transfer them over. All right, well, the potatoes have been uh, kind of sitting there on the paper towel for a bit so they could uh, get rid of some of this grease. A couple of Klingons here. This is my uh, leftover Christmas plate. A little bit of seasoning salt on there. Yeah, let's try one, see if it's any good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So I'm going to sit here for a bit till it cools, and I'll uh, dump the grease out and wipe down the skillet really good. And uh, that'll be the first layer of seasoning for this old 1950s uh, skillet. In the meantime, I'm going to eat some of my uh, potatoes and listen to my cuckoo clock and Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> 